Hey, what's up guys, David here from the Ignited. Today, I want to show you the fastest and quickest way of copying data from a USB flash disk here to your Synology NAS drive, all right? So let's get right into it. All right, so with me, I have the DS220 Plus NAS drive. I have been rocking this NAS drive for over three years now. And quickly, what you'll notice is that it comes with a USB port right here. And most importantly, it comes with a copy button here. You can see this C symbol or label in this button here. So uh, you can actually copy data very easily from a USB flash disk or external hard drive to the NAS drive very quickly and easily without going through the uh, DSM or uh, disk station manager all right on the web interface so i want to show you how you can do that real quick all right so the first thing that you want to do is to ensure that this flash disk here is formatted to either fat 32 which has a limit of 4 gb file size all right or you can have it formatted to exfat okay which has a higher limit or ntfs all these are windows file systems so that means that the data can be copied to a windows machine or you can format it to e ext3 or 4 okay so i already formatted my usb drive here and uh, i'm just going to plug it into my chromebook here so i can show you exactly what's in it okay yeah so there you go i'm going to open it and uh, as you can see i have uh video file here so we're going to copy a video file from the usb uh, disk to the synology okay so the next thing that you want to do is to open uh, dsm okay so this is the disk station manager here the operating system that runs your synology nas drive via the web interface and just search for usb copy here i'm going to type in usb copy and it's right here and you have to enable it so by default this is not enabled so you'll have to enable the copy button the hardware copy button and so just tap on enable it and then come to task settings here and now this is where we're going to set the destination uh, folder where we're going to copy files to our NAS drive. So I already did this, all right? I already created this folder here on my NAS drive as USB disk copy, okay? So this is already set up. So here you can see source is the USB flash disk here, and then the destination is slash this Dave NAS slash USB disk here. Yeah, so now I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to unplug this USB drive here and plug it into the USB port of my Synology NAS drive. As you can see, I'm going to plug it in here, okay? So it is right there. By default, it's not mounted. So what you now need to do to copy the files, okay, is wait for the green light, okay? Uh, on that button that means that the drive has been recognized by the Synology NAS drive and the files are ready to go So now press the copy button Okay, should hear that click Okay, and that beeping sound and you can see the lights are now blinking and right here You can see that the copying process has now started. Okay it Says copying files. Yes, USB uh, file transfer is complete so that means that when i open my file station here and come to the destination folder which i set up okay you can see now it automatically creates a folder uh, for each copy so tap on that folder and you'll be able to see uh, the file okay so now what happens when i actually um, copy again okay watch and see so let's go back here and let's press the copy uh, button once again okay it will not work because after the copying is done synology automatically unmounts or ejects the usb drive okay the usb flash disk okay so what you want to do now is to just unplug it first okay then plug it back in again all right wait for a few seconds for it to be recognized 
wait for that uh, green light it's right there nice and now press the copy button once again okay the beeping sound is there the blinking lights are right, right there the copying process is going on and bingo it's been copied so when we go to the destination folder on my NAS drive again you can see it has automatically created a second folder here it automatically creates a second folder okay so the system is called multi-version system here so for every copy it basically creates uh, a new folder uh, for the copy yes so if you have you know routine uh, backups that you need to make to your Synology NAS drive via your external USB flash disk or external hard drive then you really want to enable this feature so that next time you want to backup files from an external device you don't really have to log into this uh, DSM interface every other time you simply have to just come and uh, press the copy button and files automatically copied from the USB flash disk or external hard drive to your NAS drive so I find that extremely convenient and uh, a very nifty feature that Synology NAS drives uh, have yes right so otherwise if you don't use the hardware copy button to copy files from your USB flash disk to the NAS drive then you will simply have to come to file station right here okay yes the USB flash disk will automatically be mounted usually as USB share and then you'll have to copy you know the file or folder that you want to copy to your NAS drive, navigate to the NAS drive, navigate to the destination folder, whatever destination folder it is, and then just manually uh, paste right there. So this is the manual process. You can also do this if you basically don't uh, use the uh, hardware copy button, right? So yeah, I hope this really quick nifty uh, tool or tip has been useful if it has please go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be notified of future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one